your view our vision to transform equity state this is equity state house of assembly in the last one year The documentary focuses on the main events in the house, that is, deliberations on bills, motions, committee works, oversight functions, public participation conference, popularly called public hearing, visitations, legislative capacity building, among others. It is apposite to say that the present fourth legislative arm of government in the state, the land of honor, is the first since the creation of the state in 1996 to have three returnees from the previous assembly. The lucky lawmakers are Honorable Churchill Adedipe, representing Irepod in Fellow Duke Consent One, who is currently the majority leader in the House, Benga Odebumi Ekiti Wise Consent One, and Olajide Olaneye Momba Consent One, who are part of the last assembly. It is also unprecedented that the present fourth assembly inaugurated by Governor Kayode Fayemi on Monday, 6 June 2011, as in its Allo Chamber, four female legislators. They include Honorable Omo Umi Ogunola, representing Ijeru Constituency, Abene Olanyika, Adu Ekiti Constituency 2, Ayolajide Fatumbi Mombatu, and Mrs. Olubumi Orineo Idosi Constituency 1. At the inauguration in the old assembly complex in Ado, Governor Kayo Defayemi, flanked by his deputy, Mrs. Fumilayo Olanika, his wife, Relu Bisi Fayemi, and supported by political appointees and party leaders, was full of enthusiasm and determination that the present crops of experienced, matured, and professionals who constituted the assembly would deliver. In the exercise of the powers bestowed upon me by subsection 3 of section 105 aforesaid, and of all other powers, enabling me in that behalf, hereby proclaim that the first session of the House of Assembly of the Kitty State shall hold at 10 a.m. on Monday, 6th day of June 2011, in the chamber of the House of Assembly, I do a kitty. State. Right. I will reserve, I will reserve, protect, protect, defend, defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and that I will abide by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Do so then this year. That I'll be faithful and be actual allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thus, the number one citizen presented 13 executive bills before the House as a sign of commitment to transform the state through established legal framework. We have every confidence that you shall bring to bear these extensive knowledge and experience you have acquired 
in your various spheres of engagement. We are earnestly forwarding today 13 executive bills to this assembly for kind consideration and quick passage. The distinguished lawmakers under the charismatic and diligent speaker, Right Honorable Albert Adewale Omire, a medical doctor by profession, wasted no time in passing the bills into law. Immediate pass assembly in the state passed 41 bills into law in four years. But it is not worthy to say here that the present assembly has just within one year passed 29 bills. The state was the first to domesticate freedom of information bill, public private partnership bill, gender equality, women empowerment and law, prohibiting violence against women bill primary health care bill among others. The speaker, Dr. Adewale Omire, and his deputy, Chief Adetunji Orishalade, said the laudable achievement recorded so far was due to the support and cooperation of his colleagues and the governor. I want to tell you that within the last four years, we have made very positive strides in the House of Assembly. We have recorded a lot of firsts in the history of legislation in, a, in a equity state. This complex we are in has been on for several years. We are happy that it was commissioned during her time. This fourth assembly is working harmoniously with ourselves and with the government of equity state. So in effect we have recorded a lot of successes during this one year of our stay in this House of Assembly. For the first time, a state has the Speaker, Vice Chairman of the Speaker's Conference, Southwest, which we have not had before. We've enjoyed the support of our colleagues and uh, the House, notwithstanding that we have two members who are uh, from the opposition party. We've been able to proceed as one House, and that accounts for what we have been able to achieve so far. I, I, I have really enjoyed myself, I've trained myself, uh, I've become rejuvenated. The primary purpose for which we all came on board was to really develop the state alongside the uh, eight-point agenda of the executive governor, which our party believes seriously in. And so most of the bills that have been passed to us were bills that were tallied and gear towards achieving those eight point agenda. Making laws is the major preoccupation of the lawmakers. All the bills pass through normal procedures as contained in the constitution and the standard order of the house. Public hearings were organized and argument and counter argument were the order of the day before the bills could skate through the first, second and third reading. A bill for a law to provide for the insurance of bonds, notes, and other securities in the state, and other matters connected therewith, that may be taught to them. The bill for a law to provide for insurance of bonds, notes, and other securities in the state, and other matters connected therewith, shall be passed. 
the present assembly is also living up to the expectations of the people. Three private bays have been sponsored by individuals and private organizations, the development which had never happened since the creation of the state. The Equity Development Foundation, EDF, in conjunction with the State Minister of Women Affairs, sponsored gender equality and bill prohibiting violence against women. The Deputy Majority Leader, Honorable Gide Idowalabe, sponsored Social Workers Bill and the bill for a law prohibiting smoking in public places put together by the Deputy Speaker, Sheikh Adetuji Olishalade, is receiving the attention of the House. The Majority Leader, Honorable Adetipe, who is the Leader of Government Business in the House, is Deputy Gide Alabe, the Chairman House Committee on Information, Honorable Omaumi Ogunola, contended that the House is irrevocably committed to move the state forward. The bills which are passed into law, the laws are meant for the people and it is to better their lots. And we are happy that in a state today we have laws that can actually make the life of the teaming mass of our people to be better than the way we met it. The committee was set up. We have 26 house committees and uh, in which each of the honorable members is chairman each of the committees and in which uh, made me the chairman house committee of the house of information and civic orientation and which means that has uh, made me the mouthpiece of the house and we have been trying our best to communicate with the people the private bill social worker practitioner in Nekiti State, where I'm privileged to lay my hand on it. And rightly before I even voted in and sworn in as an honorable member, representative CEO, I have the notion that part of my duty is to sponsor a private bill within the regime, and which I thank God for allowing me to sponsor a bill social work and practitioner the negative. The new assembly complex which has continued to provide a conducive platform for the lawmakers and the staff to operate effectively was commissioned in December 2012 by Governor Kayode Fayemi. On this day, 22nd of December 2011, declare the State House of Assembly Complex Commission to the glory of God and the benefit of the city people. During the period under review, the lawmakers carried out oversight functions to ministries, departments and agencies to track the activities of government establishments and ascertain whether money appropriated by the lawmakers are judiciously used. The lawmakers attended both local and international workshops and seminars to build their capacity. Some of these include the DFID training in local Ijecha in Oshun State, Akura in Odo State, and legislative training in South Africa. It is not only monitoring executive alone. We we sit here to make good laws for the good governance of the state and we ensure we make follow up. I will give every one of us a pass mark as far as discussion at the House Chamber, the parliamentary room and whatever, a pass mark. But when it comes to oversight functions, I think that is where I believe we have the challenges. And if the autonomy has been there, probably these challenges will have been surmounted. It is against this backdrop that I believe that the autonomy being of the House of Assemblies across the country being discussed at the National Assembly to the Senate that it has, to the extent that it has got into the second stage, that is the second reading should be given accelerated uh, consideration and passage. In the House of Assembly, we have done well. 
we have passed a bill that prohibits the violence on women, especially the gender-based violence uh, bill. We have been able to pass it, and we are the first uh, state to pass such a uh, law. By the grace of God, with the level we have in the assembly here, we believe and we know that we are performing considering the number of bills that have been passed into law in the house. At least we have like 29, 30 bills passed, which caters for the for, for, for equity people. But as far as I know, the law we are making at the assembly end here, which is the legislative arm, is a good law for the growth, development of the states. For instance, I can cite one, two, three, four of the law. The PPP law, we, if we look at it, that the public and the private coming to bring an investment to the states is a very good thing. When we talk of the FOIB, in fact, the state is one of the first states to have freedom of information bill. Then the gender bill, where most parents don't even have to take care of their children, see them lottering around the roads, we pass such bill to curtail all, most of these things. There are a lot of bills like that. You know, that we have been passing in the House of Assembly to the benefits, growth, development of equity states and to improve democracy, uh, dividends to our people. Motions under matters of public urgent importance were moved by some of the lawmakers and the period also witnessed confirmation of commissioner nominees, Deputy Clerk Administration Minister Fola Afolalo and confirmation of Justice Ayode Jidramala as the substantive chief judge of the state. Individuals, public and private organizations paid advocacy visits to the House as part of measures to strengthen good governance in the state. The clerk of the House, Mr. Akintude Famoyegu, who has been in the saddle of administrative machinery of the House for many years, congratulated the lawmakers made up of 24 Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, and two People's Democratic Party PDP members for their contributions in the last one year to the development of the state. Uh, in terms of membership, and as you know, uh, the state is divided into 26 constituencies, and then we have 26 members here. And then for the first time during the Second Assembly, we had a woman from a form, Mrs. Uh, uh, Lua Femi. And this fourth assembly, we are having a, a good number, which is well, we have four now. So it, it has been on the increase. So the assembly, we have been performing our jobs. The Chairman House of Assembly Service Commission, Honorable Bayo Idowu, and the Safety Secretary of the Commission, Mr. Atola Esan, lauded Governor Fayemi for providing a limited environment and supportive role for the house to operate effectively. But I must say that uh, they have not been lagging behind. Because any bills and every bill that have come before them, they have been able to uh, do the needful with a view to passing them into law. Because where there is no law, there will be no crime. And laws are basis for administration to perform credibly very well. Because if there is no law for you to perform, to rest your argument with a view to transforming the society, you will be subjected to litigation in courts. So and the executives having realized that they know that all the actions, because like Chairman Maru said, you can't have development without some destruction. So with a view to make development, you must destroy. And in an attempt to destroy the parties own those properties will subject you to litigation. But having hard laws to rest the transformation case, so the government has done very well. And the Assembly too has been very cooperative. And the staff, they are efficient and it has have a spiral effect or multiplier effect in the quality of productivity in the House of Assembly. The Owaoyo for Kemesi Obagbadebo Aredeji, who is the current chairman, council of traditional rulers in the state, expressed delight about the cordial working relationship between the governor and the house. The chairman ACN of the state 
Chief Judea Awe in his comment emphasized that the 24 lawmakers representing the party in the House are good ambassadors of the party, complementing the good work of the governor in the state. This assembly has no excuse than to perform creditably and give good governance to equity people. Because to whom much is given, much is suspected. Ikiti people have surrendered part of their sovereignty into this assembly by voting them at the election. And in return, they must get very good balance for what they have put into them. So for the assembly to have passed or to have reached that level of bill passage, I believe sincerely it's worth it. We are looking for more robust debate in the House. We are looking for more openness within the House. We are looking for a situation where the Assembly will pass more public bills that will bring succor to the people of Ekiti State. We are looking at a situation where our assembly will rank one of the best in this country. And this can be achieved by the level of their consistency in maintaining law and order, in seeing to it that though there are separation of power, but they still have to coexist with the two other arms of government. The wife of the governor, Erielubisi Fayemi, who Security Development Foundation sponsored one of the first private bills in the House, eulogized the lawmakers for giving a selected passage to the bill. Now that we have this piece of legislation in place in Ekiti State, it has given women in the state a lot of confidence. It has given them a sense of belonging. And it has given them an understanding that they can now operate as full citizens in the state with rights. Everywhere I go, women in the state talk about the impact of the bill on their lives and how men no longer find it um, easy to assault them with impunity. We still have a long way to go with regards to the day-to-day -day implementation of the bill, but I know that um, with the full cooperation of the uh, legislature, the judiciary, law enforcement officers, and the general public, we will be able to um, do justice to this bill that was passed by the House of Assembly. The number one citizen in the state, Governor Cairo De Faimi, said the Assembly is not a lame duck one, and it is the most productive in Nigeria. The Ekiti State House of Assembly is probably the most productive House of Assembly in the entire country. And this is an assembly of people of substance who take their work very seriously and uh, do what is required of them in making laws, uh, in their oversight duties, and in uh, linkages. And you can see a number of the things that have also happened in the course of that year. Uh, they've had a lot of capacity building initiatives in Ghana, in South Africa, where they have a partnership with the uh, Hauteng uh, legislature. And um, many of its members have also participated in other activities in other parts of the world, leading to the uh, election of the current Speaker of the Kitty State House of Assembly as the southwestern vice chairperson of the conference of speakers of the entire country that must be a statement in itself about how others also see us dr Fayemi, however tasked the present fourth assembly to do more in the years ahead i'm sure that this first anniversary will give them the opportunity to look back at where they've come from and also look forward to where they think the assembly should go. This is the fourth assembly in Ekiti. And as the fourth assembly in our state, uh, I have, on my part, noticed improvement. The trajectory has been up. It has not been down. We've noticed consistent improvement, and we can only expect that this assembly will do much better. Uh, than other assembly. Governor Fireman said 
our first legislative panel will soon be organized to bring together lawmakers from both the ICT State House of Assembly and the National Assembly to review and fashion out developmental plans for the overall general development and growth of the state.